Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat. Now as tempting as those shiny new iPad Pros are, many of us prefer the flexibility, the customization, and the variety of Android tablets. So whether you own a Nexus 7, a Galaxy Tab S, Asus Zenpad, or one of the many other great Android tablets on the market, here's how to keep your tablet feeling fast and fresh. First things first, check for software and app updates. You probably already do this, but it can't hurt to every now and then go to the About page in the Settings app and manually check to see if there are any new updates for Android. Keeping the software and apps up to date is the best way to ensure your tablet is as fast and reliable as possible. But if your tablet is still feeling a bit sluggish, there are a few things we can do. First of all, get rid of any unnecessary widgets. Depending on the type of widget and what information or app shortcut they're providing, they regularly update and can use a fair bit of your tablet's RAM and processing power. So maybe hang on to the clock, but get rid of those weather and social media widgets. The next tip is a little bit more complicated, but don't worry, anyone can do it and it only takes a few seconds. What we're going to do is reduce the length of animations you see when you tap on icons, open the app drawer, swipe between home screens and things like that. So go to your settings app, scroll down to about device, tap on software information and then find the build number. Once you see it, tap it seven times in a row to unlock the developer's options. Don't worry, it's safe and we're only going to change a couple of things. But with developer mode unlocked, go back to the main settings page and then open the developer settings. Scroll down until you see window, transition and animator scale options. Change all three to 0.5 times animation scale. That's it, job done. Now go back to your home screen and you'll find everything feels a little bit faster. Have a swipe around and see for yourself. I think you'll be able to tell everything now seems a bit quicker. Now my next tip might not make a whole lot of sense to begin with, but basically we want to see what apps are draining the most battery. Once again, go to the settings, open the battery settings, and then tap on battery usage. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of apps that are draining the most battery. Obviously things like the screen and Android will be pretty big battery users, but if you see a particular app or game, maybe something like Spotify or Facebook, the chances are if it's draining a lot of battery, it may also be having an impact on your tablet's performance. So try to cut down how often you use these apps, or a good tip in the case of Facebook in particular, which is infamous for being a bit of a power hog, is to uninstall the app and then instead add a bookmark for the mobile website on Chrome or whichever browser you're using to the home screen and use it through that. It might not be quite as polished or as fast, but it will improve your battery and hopefully speed things up as well. If things are still feeling a little bit slow, installing a third-party launcher could give your tablet that speed boost it desperately needs. Download and install one of the popular launchers like Google Now or Nova, which not only lets you customize the theme and wallpapers, icons and animations of your tablet, but almost always makes it feel faster and more responsive. Most are free, but you can often upgrade to a pro version if you'd like, but importantly, it doesn't require you to root your device. So let's say you've tried everything and still your tablet isn't running properly. Try a factory reset. It's a bit of a pain in the ass downloading apps and signing into everything again, but a full reset and a clean start might just do the trick in clearing out some of the apps you never use and getting rid of cached data and generally just starting fresh. It's easy to do, just go to settings, back up and reset, and then tap on factory data reset. Make sure you do back up any photos or contacts you want to keep, but then give it a go and hopefully your tablet should come back feeling faster than ever. Hopefully these tips and tricks will help you make your Android tablet feel a bit nicer to use, but if it is a few years old and perhaps the hardware is getting on a bit, it may be worth investing in a new one. But if you've got any tips that I've missed out on how to improve your Android experience, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and hopefully I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.